Hello and welcome back to another tip of the week. And this week I'm talking to all my students, everyone who's interested, because I'm gonna t tell you where to find images. And so my developer students should be interested because they need images. My video editing students should be interested because you need images for that. But anyone should be interested because if you have a, a Facebook page, a Twitter, a blog, you may need images to promote your business, okay? So I'm gonna show you some free websites and some paid websites, all the websites that I think are great for finding images, okay? Okay, so starting here, I'm gonna tell you one detail first. I'm gonna show you several websites. Each website have their own license of how they wanna they allow you to use their images. So I suggest that when you start using one, always check out what the license allows you to do and what the license doesn't allow you to do in both free and paid versions, okay? So the first website and my favorite of all times is pixabay.com. Pixabay is a free, uh, has free images, photos, illustrations, vectors, and videos. They have a very nice license. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you the license of everyone, but I'm gonna use Pixabay as an example because you can come here in the frequently asked questions license and they explain to you what the license can do. They let you use for commercial and non-commercial use. They do not require an attribution and they allow you to modify the images. What you can't do is redistribute and sell the images, okay? Uh, uh, or you can't, just sell them the way you got them without changing anything on that on them okay you cannot portray people that are identifiable in a bad light and you can't like let's say there's a brand that's identifiable you can't place that 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 brand in a way that suggests that brand is sponsoring something or other that the brand doesn't isn't necessarily doing that okay so in a in a misleading way okay but you can see here, and I'm showing this license as an example, but please check out the license on all websites, okay? So here's super simple. You come here on the search and let's search computer. And here we go. And I see all the images, great. I can choose an image. Let's say I want this image here. And here we go. The image I can free download. I have several sizes to download. I do not need to log in to download, but I will be asked to do one of those recapture to prove that I'm not a robot. You can donate a coffee, <laughs> donate something to the creator if you want to, but you're not obligated to, but would be nice if you can. They always have here, okay, some sponsored images. You'll see here that this first section here is uh, usually sponsored and this is common on all free websites because the free websites are maintained by the by the paid ones as a way to bring <laughs> to bring a business as a marketing tool so of course they're gonna have but they also have related images here and you see that you see the pixabay license here easy to see and this one I showed you with more details because the other websites work in similar ways, so I'm just gonna introduce you the websites, but I wanted you to see how you can do this. Account here is free, so you can just make an account. Here also you can come here in images and say, oh, I only want vector graphics, for instance. And here you go, and this is, I, I like this too, because in addition, here in the free download, in addition to the PNG image, you also have your vector graphic, your SVG, okay? So that's great, I really, find that super useful and you have videos too okay and if you put your mouse on top of the video the video starts playing so you can see the video so that's really useful after pixabay i like pexels.com okay works kind of like in the same way as pixabay you're gonna search here you're gonna see here the stock that's trending you're gonna come here and say computer and once again you're gonna have the images here you got you can join you can click here and free download you can have options okay this is great that you can have a custom size if you want I think this is just as good as pixabay then you have unsplash.com also free 
and also works the same way with uh, with the search and the stock here and computer here so you see they give you the tags so you can go looking better in the tags if you want to freeimages.com again free images but again check out the licenses because if i'm not mistaken i'm not a sure i i checked out the licenses a long time ago but if i'm not mistaken free images doesn't allow you to use their images in logos for instance okay free images license here see here no using trademark or logo so i was right was freeimages.com now we're gonna start with the paid ones bigstock.com they have great videos great images you can evaluate okay you can oh, here in the PT version, but I'd like this to go to the English version. A free trial to test them out, so that's great. But they have good images, good good photos. iStock, I love iStock. They're paid also, but they've been here for like twenty over twenty years. I don't know how long they've been around. I know that when I was when I started uh, in in university when in two thousand, I have a advertisement degree so i used to come here to iStock and use them all the time for my university project but they have photos illustrations video audio which is something different from them not everyone has audio most of them don't have audio so this is great for them they you gotta check out the pricing but they have a really good stock adobe stock is also paid adobe stock has an advantage uh, also, they have a really good stock. They have photos, illustrations. Let's see if I can go to English. They have photos, illustrations, vectors, videos, uh, 3D, editorial. They have editorial, which is great. Editorial means this, means having pictures that have got to do with the news. Okay, so it's actual re real stuff. Okay, so that you can use in the news. What they have that is, in my opinion, the biggest advantage of Adobe Stock is a really good integration with Adobe Creative Cloud so that you can search Adobe Stock directly from some of the Adobe software. For instance, I know that in Adobe Premiere, you can search Adobe Stock for uh, lower thirds and stuff like that. I know that on Bridge, you can search Adobe Stock directly and, and do that. Just download straight from there using the software and download from there and, you know, have your credentials and stuff already connected to make things easier for you. So that's a big advantage of Adobe Stock. A disadvantage is that Adobe, I know this because I, as a contributor, tried. I have a few animations that I that I sell on Shutterstock and Adobe. And uh, what I, my animation says is stuff that I use on my videos. And I also saw since I had to do them. So I created, for instance, right button of a mouse clicking, the left button of a mouse clicking and things like that in several colors. And for instance, Adobe only allowed me to upload one video because they said they, they were too similar. So for instance, on Adobe, I only have one side. <laughs> of the mouse in one color uh, but on Shutterstock I have all of them so and sometimes when you're searching for something a series can be very interesting because sometimes you see oh I want something like this but slightly different and so in a platform that allows for a series that's easier for you to find but that doesn't mean that Adobe doesn't have a really good stock they do they have really good options okay then you have deposit photos Okay, I'm gonna put here in English also. Deposit photos, they also have photos, vectors, editorial. They have really, again, a really good stock for an interesting price, I, I believe. They have Shutterstock. Shutterstock, like I said, allows uh, for you to have a series. They have really good stock. I also uh, know them, f known them for a long time. I found them around the time I was in the university too, not just not the beginning. <laughs> I found them a little bit later, but but I've, I've been, I know them for at least 15 years or more. So I'm going to search here, right click mouse, because this is mine. This is what I meant by having a series different. This is mine. See, I have this animation of the 
button of the mouse clicking and I have both sides and I have the, the scroll button and I have in different colors. So this might be interesting for someone or this one, I really like this one where they have different angles, see, of pretty much the same thing, the person clicking the mouse and moving the mouse, but there are different angles. Adobe Stock wouldn't allow this uh, this one right here, Adobe Stock would have had, would have complained. But sometimes that's interesting because you, maybe you were looking at this and you said, oh, but I wanted a, a angle of the top of their, of their hand. And oops, right here, I have one. So that's the advantage I think about sh of Shutterstock over Adobe Stock. The advantage of Adobe Stock over Shutterstock is that you can use them straight from the Adobe products. But other than that, I find them both very good. And I think here on editorial, uh, they have an even better example of what editorial is because you can see here the British Prime Minister, British royalty, for instance, you actually see that this is newsworthy. So that's very useful. Then you have offset. Dot com offset is from Shutterstock, but they have more flexible plans. So, so maybe you can get better pricing uh, for their for their stock. Okay, but it's not the same stock that you'd have available on Shutterstock. It's different stock, but with different kind of pricing. Then you have free free pick. I love free pick free pick because free pick has free and paid versions. What I love about free pick is that it you can get a PSD file, okay? So a PSD file is already ready to be worked on Photoshop and I think that's super useful. And the way you see here what is paid is what what is free is with this little crown. The ones that have the little crown are paid and the ones that don't are free. Click here on one that doesn't have and you could just download here. Want the free download you must see this is a difference of free pick from Pixabay. This one does need you to attribute the author. If you have a paid plan, you don't need to. Uh, but let's see, I'm going to click on this one and download. And for this one, you have to be a premium subscriber, but can be very interesting. Then you have free vector and this one flaticon.com. And this one, what I like is that again, this one works kind of like free pick. Uh, but what I like here is that this is completely dedicated to icons. Okay. So what you get here are icons. So again, I can come here and download. And once again, if I, you see that they have the same look, uh, I have to attribute the author if I want to, if I want free or paid, if I don't want to. What I love is this, is that they are icons and sometimes you're looking for icon specifically icons and the other websites sometimes don't have them. I find that super great. There are several more websites out there. You, I'm always finding new ones. These are the ones I use them. I think like lately uh, are the best and I've been using the most. The one I use the most is Pixabay. Well, not gonna lie to you. The one I use the most is Pixabay, but I use the others regularly too. And knowing where to find images is important, not just if you actually work in graphic development, okay? Okay, if you are a web developer, if you are a, are a graphic artist, if you are a video editor, maybe you are a journalist and you need editorial pictures. Maybe you are an entrepreneur and you need uh, to, you know, publicize your business and you're doing your own marketing and stuff like that. So coming, using this to find images, this is really good for you, for your, you know, for your posts and stuff that you need. So this is useful for a lot of people. And I hope this helped and have you already subscribed to the channel? What are you waiting for? Go subscribe and go check out my courses on Udemy and see you next week.